Believe it or not, this is for breakfast. Sesame rolls, you got a little bit of a fried type of a donut. You got uh, the jowza, sticky rice. A lot of sticky and glutinous rice and uh, sticky rice in husks. It may seem strange, but uh, that's how it is. And none of it is sweet. The sticky rice is a little bit sweet, but these are pretty bland. It's like eating sandpaper. The problem with uh, this particular Chinese breakfast choice is that a lot of this stuff is day old. But they just opened and it's already in the window. Uh, the chicken just came out. That was probably fried up fresh today. The baozi is probably fresh, but the bread and other stuff is a day old. So if you want soggy bread, soggy dough sticks, it's cheap, but it's a day old. There's the breakfast baozi, and that root will get you filled up, but after about a month of that, you're going to be plenty sick of it. Um, so that and the sticky rice, you'll see steamers of sticky rice and steamers of uh, just um, steamed bread and stuff um, that uh, can be good occasionally, every day. You're not going to be satisfied with that. And then, of course, we have the Taiwan breakfast pancake. Basically what it is, is it's phyllo dough folded and egg, vegetable, even dough stick rolled up in it. And you can get it uh, very cheap. Right here it's uh, 5 yuan. I've got it cheaper before in the past. Sometimes they pour their own dough and sometimes they don't. This is pre-made right here and it just makes it easier for them to buy dozens and dozens of those pre-made dough cakes, fry them up, put the stuff in, and sell it that way. You've got the portable trucks with gruel. You've got little baggies all lined up to go. Cash and carry of soy milk and baozi and things of that nature. Dough sticks, baggies again, soy milk. Big uh, steaming trays there for any sticky rice. Got noodles to go. Got uh, what they call bread here. It's really kind of a sweet bread. All of it lined up, ready to go for breakfast. Not much has changed. So there it is, pretty much standard rice porridge. And uh, it has bits of stuff in it, as a lot of you that have been to China and had it know. This particular one has some, uh, well, lettuce, and somewhere in there is some chicken, some shredded chicken, which makes it sure a lot better than some of the other porridge. Of course, you won't find much chicken in there, uh, even though it's supposed to be chicken. Um, you know, you get short shortchanged there. As far as like getting any uh, quantity of meat in your food, good luck. Uh, that and, and a dough stick is pretty much like the standard um, breakfast for most Chinese in the morning hasn't changed at all I mean you as far as the rice porridge goes you can't get sick and get fat and ill eating rice porridge every morning the dough stick is another story but um, it will get so boring after about 10 days of it that uh, you'll want to move on to something else so your best bet is going to be to find a Hong Kong style diner for a legitimate real breakfast. If you're in a bigger city in China you'll be able to find these but if not um, you're going to be hard pressed to find anything that's going to look western. I'm going to go for the fish fillet, eggs, toast and it looks like a side of potatoes. That is a legitimate breakfast. I'm going to jump on that. Um, maybe get uh, coffee instead of milk tea okay egg a fish fillet slice of ham toast real butter and corn I call that about as good a breakfast as you're gonna find in mainland and it costs right about exactly four dollars US now this is a breakfast you stay at a nicer hotel 
sometimes in the bigger cities you can get a legit breakfast. I'm gonna just uh, let you take a look and see what you get at a four or five star. Not too shabby. 